She was born on December 4th, 2015, and uh, we thought everything was normal, aside from the fact that she was small. And then she presented with seizures the night before we went home. And long story short, it turns out she actually had um, a heart defect. We were immediately sent to Boston, and that started the longest nine months of my life, to be honest. You know, a lot of the children we see at Boston Children's Hospital have very complex disease. Many of them have been turned down for surgery or treatment at a lot of other locations, and they come to us really as their uh, last avenue of hope. It wasn't until the next day that she called me and... <laughs> they told me that she was going to Boston Children's. So I said, I'm coming right now. You're on ECMO for a very long time. You're not getting blood to the heart and you're not getting oxygen to the heart. You are able to repair the heart and get it back functional, but it's not functioning as best as it can. There is some injury incurred. We were back. Her heart was not working right again. It was very scary and I thought I'd be burying my daughter by Mother's Day. Knowing that the heart muscle has been weakened, we understood that we needed to find a new alternative to help regenerate the power cells of the heart. And it was very timely that Dr. McCulley was working on mitochondrial transplantation because at the time we were encountering questions of how do we help the heart recover after surgery. No matter what we did, consistently there was damage to the mitochondria. We hypothesized, well, if we can replace those mitochondria that are damaged during that ischemic phase, it would allow enough energy for that heart to function. They approached us with doing a experimental procedure on her. We would uh, take a small piece of muscle from the bottom of uh, the incision that we previously made for the heart surgery. And then use that small little piece of tissue to grind it up and then filter it through. Procedure takes less than 20 minutes. At the end, we hand back purified mitochondria to It's very cheap, very rapid, and very simple. That small piece of muscle is enough to give us uh, over 10 million mitochondria. We then take the healthy mitochondria and put them in a syringe and then inject them into the area of injury of the heart muscle as a part of that same procedure. I thought, you know what? I don't care if it's experimental. If it's gonna make her live, then why not try it? Like, I'd rather have her live than the other consequences, which was she would pass away. This is before mitochondrial therapy here. This is Avery's heart after mitochondrial therapy, and it's already squeezing normally. I can't believe she's here, to be honest. Sure enough, she came off of ECMO, did not need that other surgery, and impressed them every day. She is doing great. You know, she goes to daycare, and the daycare loves her, and everyone loves her, and she's just a happy, spunky little girl, and you would never know. Oh, she's sitting up by herself. She's starting to babble. She's getting two teeth. She's the light of my life. Boston Children's Hospital is the best. There's a reason they're the number one hospital in the country, and I'm so thankful that they were able to help Avery and that they're there. Without Boston Children's Hospital, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm.